I am excited to share this game I created just for you guys. The X-Wing Pursuit. It puts you right in the cockpit of a TIE fighter, chasing down an X-Wing through space. Using the gyro and accelerometer sensor on this incredible wave share board, you move the display itself to aim and keep the X-Wing in your sights. Gotcha! In this video, I'll show you how to install the game and fine-tune its difficulty to match your playstyle. This game runs on the WaveShare ESP32 board. I've added the link in the description below so you can play it too. It's super easy to install. The goal is simple. Hit the X-Wing three times before times runs out. You can even adjust very easily the game difficulty in the code. I'll show you where later during the code tour. If you ever want to reset your best score, just press the boot button. Just don't press the other one, that's the reset button, and you lose your progress faster than an X-Wing in your sights. And when you set a new high score, you'll be rewarded with a shiny Empire medal, a perfect touch for any Imperial pilot. Now it's time to install the game on your WaveShare board. The link to the exact board I'm using for this project is in the video description below. Let's start by downloading the code. Head over to my GitHub repository, you'll also find that link in the description. Click the green code button and select download zip. The file will be saved in your downloads folder. Once it's downloaded, unzip it. I'm using 7-zip here on my Windows machine, but any unzip tool will work. Next, rename the folder by removing the dash main part at the end, and it's important. The folder name needs to match the sketch name exactly, otherwise the Arduino tools won't recognize it properly. Now connect your WaveShare AMOLED display to your computer. I'll first show you how to upload the game using the Arduino IDE, and then I'll demonstrate the process in Visual Studio Code using the Arduino Maker Workshop extension. Open the project folder and double click the sketch to load it in the Arduino IDE. Go to the board manager. Search for ESP32. Make sure you install version 3.3.2 from Espressive Systems. That's the version I tested the game with. If you don't see the ESP32 by Espressive, go to File, Preferences, and paste the URL I've included in the video description into the additional board manager URL box. Once that's done, open the board and port menu, search for AMOLED and select the WaveShare ESP32 S3 Touch AMOLED 1.43, then choose the COM port where your board is connected. Now go to the Tools menu. We need to set some board configurations. Under UCDC on boot, set it to enable. Here, change the partition scheme to custom. This project includes a custom partition table. It allocates space for your best score in non-volatile memory and the rest of the 16 megabyte flash is used for the game code. That means you'll have plenty of room to add new features or improve the game later. And finally, make sure PSRAM is enabled. Now open the library manager. We need to install two libraries. First, search for JPEG Deck and install version 1.8.2. Make sure it's that exact version or the game may not run correctly. And finally, search for JFX library for Arduino and install version 1.6.2. Again, make sure you install this exact version for compatibility. And now everything is ready. Just hit the upload button. The sketch will compile. This can take a little while. Don't worry, that's normal. Once it's done, the game will be uploaded to your board and you're ready to hunt some X-Wings. Have fun! If you run into any problems, head to my GitHub repository and open an issue. Please include the messages from the serial monitor. 
that helps me figure out what's going on and get you the right solution. If you're using Visual Studio Code with the Arduino Maker Workshop extension, install the game is even easier. First, open the project in Visual Studio Code. Make sure you have the latest version of the Arduino Maker Workshop extension installed. Then click the Arduino Maker Workshop logo in the activity bar. This project already includes a build profile named AMOLED. That profile tells the Arduino tools everything they need to know about your board, the version to use, the correct configuration, and which libraries are required. The only thing you'll need to change is the serial port where your board is connected. After that, just make sure the AMOLED profile is selected and click Upload. The project will start compiling. Depending on your computer, this can take a while. Don't worry, that's normal. Once it's done, the game will be uploaded straight to your board and you're ready to chase some X-Wings. Have fun! If you run into any problems, head to my GitHub repository and open an issue. Please include the messages from the serial monitor. That helps me figure out what's going on and get you the right solution. Now let's see how you can adjust the game to make it harder or easier. Scroll down a little in the sketch, and you'll find a group of defined values. These are your game settings. You can tweak them to match your playstyle. The first one controls the number of X-Wing hits required to win the game. By default, you need to destroy three X-Wings to win. You can increase or decrease that number to change the challenge. Next, there's the round duration in seconds. Right now, you have 20 seconds to take down 3 X-Wings. Lower this number to make the game harder, or increase it to give yourself more time. Then we have 4 sensitivity variables that control all the X-Wing reacts to your movements. In general, lower values make the game easier, and higher values make it more difficult, so there's plenty of room to experiment. This one controls how sensitive vertical movement is to board tilting. Tilting is this movement with the display. So increase this value to make the X-Wing move faster up and down, or lower it to make it move slower up and down. The next one controls how sensitive horizontal movement is to board twisting. Twisting is this movement with the display. So increase this value to make the X-Wing move faster left and right, or lower it to make it move slower left and right. This one controls the glide effect of the X-Wing. A value near 1 means the X-Wing will glide forever, and a value near 0 makes it stop almost instantly. Finally, this one adjusts the bullseye area, the hit zone. A lower value makes the bullseye larger, so the game is easier. A higher value makes it smaller, so you'll need to be more precise. And lastly, you can change the direction mode. The default is mode 2 where tilting the board moves the X-Wing up and down, and twisting moves it left and right. You can change this behavior by choosing any four modes, and by choosing a mode that is less natural to you, you can make the game harder. You're now ready to play the X-Wing Pursuit on your WaveShare board. I hope you have as much fun chasing X-Wings as I did building this game. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and maybe even buy me a coffee to support the channel. It really helps me keep creating cool projects like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next mission, right here at the Last Outpost Workshop.